Hello, 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 and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Beverly Lucas, and I am the host of For the Love of Cooking Fridays. What do I do on Fridays? I try to show you how to make a meal at home from scratch that is always better than the restaurant. You have to trust me on this. It is always better than the restaurant. What are we going to make today, Beverly? Well, today we're going to make something that I'm calling just a meal for one, meaning a meal for me. And that is going to be some fried cod, um, some Parmesan potatoes, and some asparagus. So let me introduce my ingredients to you. Okay, I have one filet of cod. I have one russet potatoes. Again, it's just one because I'm cooking for one. And then I have this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful jumbo asparagus. So we're gonna use that. And because we're making Parmesan potatoes, we have to have some Parmesan cheese. So I have some here. Also for the cheese, we are going to season it in some garlic powder and some onion powder, a little bit of salt. And then at the end, we're gonna put in some Obey. For my uh, asparagus, I have just two tablespoons of butter. And to fry my fish, I am using some seafood breading this is so good. And it saves on having to really, really season the fish. So those are my ingredients. You are in my kitchen, so let's get started. Are you with me? Are you really with me? Come on with me. So to begin, I have my one russet potato. I know I need sharper knives. And I'm gonna cut it in wedges so that my potatoes are nice and thick. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but this is how I do it in my kitchen. And I've washed my potatoes and they are wet. So I don't want to put them, put them in the oven wet because I don't want them to steam. I want them to become like fries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry them off. So I dried them off. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put them into this bowl and I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. And first I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil and I'm gonna drizzle them with the olive oil. And this is gonna help them to become crispy. And then I'm going to add my onion powder and our garlic powder. And you have to remember onion powder and garlic powder do not have salt. So it's just for the seasoning, just for the flavor. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt, just a tad bit. I'm gonna do them like that. So it looks like this. And I'm gonna line my pan here with some aluminum foil. And I'm just gonna take them and place them down like this. Oops, my oven is ready at 400 degrees. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put them in. I'm gonna let them cook for about 30 minutes. And then I'm going to flip them over. In the meantime, I have my fryer here and it is set for 350 degrees. And that's where I'm going to place my cod and I have my seasoning and I'm going to show you something a little old-fashioned. Old-fashioned is my little paper bag here. I'm going to pour some of the seasonings into there. And if you notice, I didn't put any seasoning on the fish. Um, I've tried different ways um, with flour. I tried mixing it with cornmeal. I've tried several ways, but this is the best way that works. And I'm gonna place the cod in here. And I'm just gonna shake it. And I'm gonna let that set for a bit. And then here I have boiling is about a cup of water in a chicken bouillon cube. And that's where I am going to place my asparagus. So let's talk a little bit about asparagus. Typically when I buy asparagus, when I'm choosing it, I'm making sure 
that the bottoms of the asparagus is in water. So in the grocery store, when I'm picking up the bunch, I'm turning it to make sure that it has been stayed moist. And so, and then if I bring them home and I'm not cooking them right away, I make sure that I put them in water. This is my asparagus holder, for lack of a better word. And I keep them in there until I'm ready to cook. Another thing that I do with my asparagus is I peel it. And especially because this is jumbo, asparagus to be stringy. So I take my potato peeler and I just take off that top layer like this. Because that's really the stringy part of the asparagus. And as you can see here, my potato peeler, I'm not taking off a lot of the skin, only that top uh, layer. And we're gonna place that in there and I'm gonna wait to cook this. Because this is jumbo, it's probably gonna take about a good uh, five to seven minutes to cook that it's still al dente, meaning that it still has a bite to it. There is nothing worse than soggy asparagus, so we still want it to have a bite. And then after that, I'm going to melt my butter and after it cooks in the water and the chicken broth, I don't have to put any salt in it because even though it was a low sodium cube, it still has some salt in there. So we don't have to do anything to the asparagus but to put um, the butter on it. So that is boiling, but we're gonna wait for that because I have my potato in the oven for my Parmesan fries and that's gonna take about about 45 to 50 minutes. So I'm gonna let it cook for the first 30 minutes and I'm gonna turn it and then it'll be ready in about another 15 or 20 minutes. I'm sure you noticed, but I'm wearing Morgan University gear because I am a student. Um, I will complete my PhD at the end of next year, 2024, and then I will walk across the stage in 2025. I am so excited about that. So I can say, um, hello. Welcome to my kitchen. My name is Dr. Beverly Lucas, and you are watching For the Love of Cooking Fries. Okay, this is what our Parmesan fries look like. Oh, my time is going off. I let them cook for about a half hour, and then I turn them. And now I am placing the Parmesan cheese on there. And as you can see, all the Parmesan cheese does not stick, but that's okay. That's going to make for some crispy goodness. I'm going to put these back in the oven for about 10 minutes. Now that our Parmesan wedges are have about 10 minutes, I am going to prepare for our pie, which has been sitting in the seasoning. So I'm going to dredge that off. Gonna open up our fryer. I'm gonna shake off the dredge of our fish, our cod, and it's at 350 degrees. And I'm just gonna place it in there and it's gonna cook for about 10 minutes. Parmesan fries look like they're ready. Our Parmesan wedges look like they're ready. Move that just around. And I'm going to sprinkle some Old Bay 